Alright guys, in this video we're just going to cover the head and neck muscles real quick on this guy right here. So, first muscle we're going to cover is the frontalis muscle. Frontalis muscle right here. Okay, frontalis muscle just covers the frontal bone right there. Then we have two muscles that start with the word orbicularis, and orbicularis means to encircle an opening or an orifice. So we have the orbicularis oculi right here, encircling the eye. And we have the orbicularis oris muscle encircling the mouth or the lips right there. Next muscle we're going to need to cover is the bucinator and the masseter. Okay, so those two muscles, it's very important to look at this model and understand that there is a deep side with bone chunks out of it and a superficial side that still has an ear. Okay, so we have the masseter, which is going to be on the superficial side. It's this thick muscle right here with vertical striations directly in front of the ear, and that helps with chewing. And then on the deeper side, we have the bucinator or buccinator that has horizontal striations and also helps with chewing. Next, we have the nasalis muscle, which kind of just looks like a nasal strip with horizontal striations over the top of the nose. Then we have the temporalis muscle, which is just going to be, it's going to be on this side right here, and it's going to cover the temporal bone and a couple other bones as well, kind of touches the parietal bone as well. Splenius capitis is going to be on the back, so it's going to be on the back side right here, and also on the back side, you'll notice there is a superficial side and a deeper side, okay? And the splenius capitis, so we can get a good angle right here, is going to be right up in here, okay? Kind of going up the side of the neck towards, you can see at an angle, if you were to continue on with your finger, it would go towards the ear. Then we have the scalenes muscles, which are really a muscle group of three of them, okay? So the three scalenes muscles you can see on the deep side of the model right here, one, two, three, and I kind of think of them as they're scaling or climbing the wall, the scalenes, okay? Then we have the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and you can't really miss it. It's this big strapping muscle right here, sternocleidomastoid muscle on the superficial side. And the word root sternocleido comes from attaching to the sternum and the clavicle, sternocleido, and then it attaches up at the mastoid process um, up in the skull, so sternocleidomastoid. That is that muscle. Occipitalis covers the occipital bone in the back, and it is this very thin muscle. It's depicted by this very thin muscle right here, occipitalis muscle. And our final muscle that we cover is the zygomaticus major muscle. Okay, so I'm going to get it a little bit closer for you. And so it's covering the zygomatic bone on the deeper side, and we see the zygomaticus major right there. The zygomaticus minor is right above it and is a little bit thinner. Okay, and that's it.